welcome back. Look at this. How exciting. I'm finally doing my pour for my daughter, Christy. So, I have done one layer of each colour in all my 10 cups. I just thought I'd get a start on it because it's a big job. And um, I'll show you the second layer. So, some white. And I'm just pouring them in like this because it's so much quicker. Making a bit of a mess, but that's okay. So I thought I finally better get this pour done, hey? It's been since Christmas that I told her I'd do it because I got her that dinner cover or quilt cover, duvet, whatever you want to call it, for Christmas. Um, and now it's almost Valentine's Day and I haven't done the, the painting yet, so I thought I'd better get a riddle on and get it done. Now I have made up too much paint because I was only going to go with six colours and then at the last minute I decided I'm going to add in a sky blue. So now I've got way too many, well, too much paint. So that's okay, I just won't scrape it all out. And I may find that I don't even need um, all the paint. I will keep this blue though because the purple even though it's a purple and sort of a bluish tone painting, when I did my little test pours, the purple really took over and you would just say it's purple pour. So I am, I've added that extra blue. I'll tell you about the colours as I go along. Just wanted to get a start on it. My pouring medium is my 60-30-10, 60 60% 60 Elmer's glue all. 30% water and 10% blood troll. Oops, haven't got much of this left. Japanese maple. I made up a little bit less of this one because it really takes over. And uh, as I said, I don't know if I'll need all 10 cups. I may 10 just to be on the safe side. But uh, we'll see. Maybe I can get away with less because I have got that extra couple of paint now, which is an extra 400 grams. So I probably don't need it all. Can't have too much paint on the surface, otherwise I can't stretch it all out. It just won't have any room to move. So, I told you about my pouring medium. The silicone oil is, is one I always use, the triple silicone, 100% silicone oil. And, I have got 200 grams of pouring medium to 200 grams of paint. I have had to play with it a little bit. The white, uh, it is the Liquitex Basics. I had to add more pouring medium to that because it's quite a thick paint. It's the extra one I made up this sky blue. So hopefully it'll be more of a blue purple painting than just a purple painting that I got for my little practice pause. And as you can see I did put some of this blue just on the two edges as well. Just in case I can't tilt over that side, those sides. This is a big canvas, well, not too really big, I mean I've done bigger but it's still a pretty big canvas. It's a 40 centimetre by 120 centimetre and for those of you who work in inches it is 16 inch by 48 inch so pretty big and it's got the nice deep sides as well. So I think if you're going to do a painting as a gift, you might as well do a you know, good quality canvas, nice deep sides. Hopefully it'll be worthy and I can do a nice pour. Sometimes you kind of lose your mojo, don't you? And what you did nicely on one day, you just kind of lose it the next day. I felt that the last few days. I just felt as if I'd maybe lost my mojo. Maybe I'm just a bit burnt out doing too many paintings. But 
Yeah, I just felt as if I had lost my mojo. So hopefully we can get it back. Now sometimes the paint mix is too thick and the paint splits. It kind of curdles if it's too thick and then I overcompensate and make it too thin and get angry with myself because I can't get it right. <laughs> oh dear. I know you guys do it all too, don't you? So do I. It's different each time. The paints are different. Different colours are different consistencies. So if I do um, a purple pour, it's usually quite a thin mix. And then when I go and do um, a red and yellow and blue pour, like my Caribbean pours, the paints are really quite thick. And then I have a little bit of trouble because the paints are too thick and it kind of curdles and cracks. And, well, not cracks, but splits a bit. The paint splits a bit. So, I'll leave a tiny little bit of paints in my cups just in case I have to do some patching, scraping. Now, I really hope I don't get my head in the paint in the frame. Try not to. Let's flip these over. Alright, so I've got one, as I said, I've got too, too much paint, so let's just leave that one there. And then that can be my emergency cup if I need it. Alrighty, now I can move this down a bit so that it's centred, I think that's pretty good, hopefully it's in frame, a cake, please be pretty, I'm going to smudge all this down, because this is, as I said, it's a deep canvas, so it's got two crossbars through here. And between the crossbar and the canvas, there's about that much gap. So I've put some puppy pedal pads under there, just to stop it sagging in the middle. Folded them up and popped them in. Okay, I'm going to make some more room over here. Got my little spatula ready. Sprayed my cups. Okay, let's do this. Wish me luck. Now this one I want to go close to the edge. I don't want to have to tilt too much to the side, so let's do it. Whoa, whoa, there's a lot of paint. Okay, a lot of paint, I better go a bit slower. That's better. This one's still got half a cup left. slow down a little bit I think my drags and then I can sort of keep more paint on and use it all so that's totally empty now it's a better way of doing it the first one I didn't really know how much paint I was going to have well now I've got a drippy thing because the paint drips from the top can't win love the colors though <gasps> See if I can get more of a big blob here. Nice, it's done that again. I've got to be careful not to leave it too long in the cup. It's a fine line, isn't it? See, that's better because I'm not leaving the paint in there, so this top bit's not dripping down. It's a fine line. I'm going to just do this one this way. I'll try and get more of a, a blob there. I need that extra cup, hey? Beautiful. Okay. Move these cups, the ones that are pretty much empty. All the paint's sitting there, contemplating what it's going to do. Some beautiful, beautiful shading happening with the purples, 
and the greens and the blues, well not so much green, the turquoise. And I've still got my extra cup left and I've still got, oh, this half a cup in there. That's half a cup, so, <coughs> excuse me, if I need it, I've got it. But we'll, we'll see. Okay, exciting now. Don't over torch, Julie. Thank you guys for reminding me. Let's do this. Settle down, big boy. I know you're excited about this pour, but just settle down. So normally when I do my silicone, I do one drop per 30 grams or one drop per ounce. Um, but today I've cut down and I've done one drop per 50 grams, which is almost two ounces. So I've cut down on the oil. Um, I wanted more background. So this one's looking good. This one's looking good. This one I might just do a little bit more up there. This one needs a bit more down here. That one's got plenty just in there. Obviously got a bit close there. So let's go again. Just selective torching. A little bit up there, a little bit down there, a little bit there. How's that looking? And I went for the Liquitex Basics with the white, uh, only because the global white is not very highly pigmented and I lose it in these these sort of um, flip and drags. The white just blends with the other colours, so that's why I've gone with the Liquitex Basics. still needs a little bit more up here. Mm, yep, pretty good. A little bit more up here, maybe just in a, in there. And then we're done. And we're good to go. Alright, that's it. No more, no more, no more. Put it away. Right. So if you've been following me, you'll know I've done a few practices with these colours. Um, some of them have been too pink, some of them have been too purple, that's why I added the extra blue. I haven't told you about my colours yet. Dioxazine purple, that's the one I made, it's just got a, it's just in a vault container, so there's no label for the dioxazine. Southern Seas, Peacock, in my Practice pause, I had Marina, but I didn't like what the Marina was doing with the black. It was turning into this icky shade of green, and I didn't like it, so I've changed to Peacock. Japanese Maple, and then, as I said, the Liquitex Basics White. It would be awful if I dropped one of these in, into my painting black. <laughs> Hang on to it with two hands. All right, let's do this, guys. I'm a bit nervous. It's been so ages been so long since I did a big one like this. Um, let's get rid of this worm first of all. It can go. Can't do much about these. Probably end up tipping some of those off. So about 2.4 kilos of mixed paint which is about 80 ounces, that's eight zero ounces for those who work in ounces. Oh, it's heavy. 
All right, now let's take my time. Take my time. I need to cover this gap here. And if it looks as if I'm not going to cover my gaps, well, I was gonna say I was gonna add more paint, but I don't want to. I really want to stretch the paint because I want my cells to, to stretch. So I don't really, really want to add extra paint. I will if I have to. Just going over to the side, my left, your right. Go, go, go. And if it starts over stretching too much, so I want my stripies today. So it's pretty much over here. It's just this little bit here and that corner. I'm not fussed about that corner. Um, it's got some paint on it, so not that fussed about it. Let's just put some paint here. And help this little spot go over. Big gaps here, eh? These are going to be a problem. But I have got plenty of paint, so it really shouldn't be an issue. That corner can stay like that. Um, a little bit of purple. Probably should have kept more paint, actually. Being a deep-sided canvas, this, that's almost, I think that's, what, an uh, inch and a half deep. Um, I have to allow paint for your edges as well, your sides. Oh, come on, this is going to give me grief. Aren't you? You're going to be trouble. I can just see it. You're going to be trouble. Don't be trouble, well then it just started. All right, I'm gonna to have to zigzag a bit to get the paint moving, the weight of the paint to push the rest of that over. Okay, got it. I got it, oh my gosh. Oh, and this one pretty much went over as well. Just help that a bit. Okay, hand around the side. I'm not worried about that corner, I can't get it. Just leave it blue. That is fine. There's, you know, there's strips of blue here. There's blocks of blue everywhere. So having a bit of blue there is not a problem. It really isn't. I don't know why people stress and worry about one little corner that's maybe a different colour. It still matches. You've got your blocks of colour everywhere else. You don't have to go over that corner. Oh, love it. Look at those big white cells. Oh my gosh, how am I going to turn it around? I didn't think about that, did I? Um, Alright, I'm going to have to try and turn it around because I can't talk towards me. How am I going to do this? Can you guys, can you help me? Please? Oh, I can't lift it. up on my table. There we go. I'm doing it. Oh look I've got some cracking. Just stood on some paint. Let me wipe the floor. Drop something off. See that? I think it's is it the white? I don't know what it is. One of them's um, splitting. One of my colours is obviously a little bit thick. Okay, it'll be alright. It'll be alright. Um, alright, let me clean this floor before I stand on more paint and walk it through the house. Okay. Alright, so this side's looking good. I think it's the white. I think it's the white that's too thick. I did have trouble with the Liquitex Basics. Um, I added more pouring medium to begin with, and I also added more water. All right, let's do this. I don't want to do it. It's a bit scary. Oh, I'm a bit upset that it's splitting. 
Yeah. Okay. Nothing I can do now. Where am I going to hold it? All right. Let's zigzag. Off to the side over there, my left, your right, just till it's over, come back, hope you can still see, I'm trying to catch the paint before it runs off the edge because I need it up here first to zigzag. Don't want it all to go off just yet. Hello, Gecko. Did you hear my Gecko? Put a little Gecko in the garage with me. Okay, zigging, zagging. <gasps> so close. So close. All right. <gasps> We're done. I'm done. Did it. Oh, look. Look at that. Oh dear, see how it's split? And then the more you stretch it, the more it splits because the paint's too thick so it can't stretch properly and then it splits. Oh dear, I was so hoping it would be a nice pretty pool. Maybe they'll all notice. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit upset. Look. In there too. Oh dear. But the rest of it is really pretty. Oh, what a shame. All right, let me fix my sides here and then I'll take you in for a close up. I really thought I had my consistency right. This is what happens when you're playing with two different brands. One's different consistency to the other. It's all right. I'm, I'm not going to, I'll try not to stress too much about it. I'm sure my daughter will love it regardless. Okay. How's this side looking? I will have to touch up my little blue corners a bit. And I need to pick up some of this and let it run down there. There we go, make a pretty pattern down there. Kind of matches, doesn't it? Now, where else? Oh, there's a little spot. Just here. I kind of need some of the dark purple there, so let's pick up some of that. Start at the top. I always like to start at the top and let it run down and make its own little pattern rather than just putting it on the, the gap. Run it through there. Well, the white is really quite noticeable, isn't it? It's really making a statement saying, Look at me, I'm here on the white paint. For sure. Okay. Well, I guess I am disappointed, but hey, what can you do? I really thought I had that white mix with good consistency. Put some more of this blue just on the corner. So it was a little bit on the thin side. Just sort of rubbed it in with my finger just to cover it so it needs a little bit more there. I guess I could do this off film, couldn't I? Off camera. You guys don't need to watch me do this and complain about my crack cells, my split cells. <laughs> for a close-up and then I'll clean up. I can't say I won't scrape it when we do it. Mm, I don't know. 
We'll see. I'll sleep on it. Well, if I'm going to scrape it, I kind of have to do it today while the paint's still wet. Sorry, just fixing up this little side bit here. Okay, that'll do. Alright, let me get my gloves off. Uh, check this composition. Can't really do much more. I don't want to take this down that way. I don't want to take the white more down this way. I've got some white here. I've got a band of white there. That's obviously where the that was the end of the cup and the white was coming out on top. I should probably alternate my cups, shouldn't I? But I do like this these black stripes going through. So I've got nice stripes. I've got the turquoise through there, the purple, I've got some blacks and blues and blues and black. So nice, nice stripies. So I'll look overall, I think I've done a pretty good job since it was such a big canvas. Now I'm climbing up onto my ladder and then onto the stool and onto the table. Okay, now I've got to try and do this without falling off the table because I'm standing on the table. One, two, three. Okay, I did it. Around we go. I can't even show you the whole thing at once. Oh, I have to stand way back here. Okay, I'll show you down here first. Alrighty. So we've got some got some pretty cells. We really have got some pretty cells. Got some blues and some turquoises. I'm glad I put that extra blue in. Otherwise it would have been really quite purple. I mean it's still purple, but I'm glad I put it in. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like when your paint's too thick. See what the white's done? It's split. So when it's, it's been too thick, it hasn't been able to stretch as I'm tilting. So it's split. These ones up here, these cells that aren't as big, I haven't stretched them as much, those white cells. They have pretty much kept their shape. But the big ones down the other end, as I've been stretching them out, they have split. So there you go. You learnt something, hey? Sides are pretty. So what do you think? Do you like it? Stand down this end. There it is. I would have been much, much happier about it if it didn't split. I'm so tempted to scrape it and do it again. So there you go. Hope you've enjoyed that video. And um, I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.